Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Paul Jay in Baltimore. Now joining us again from London is Kostos Lepovitsis. He's a professor of economics at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. His most recent book is Crisis in the Eurozone. Thanks for joining us again, Kostas. Thank you. So we're picking up our discussion. If you haven't seen part one, you should really go watch part one to give you the context. And now we're going to continue where we focus on what's happening in the politics in Greece and particularly what's happening with the response of the left. So Kostas, where, where do things stand with Syriza? Is there likely to be new elections? And, and how are people responding to the crisis? Syriza is becoming stronger and stronger in terms of popular support. All polls that um, we are aware of, and there are plenty of polls that take place uh, and would never hear about them, but all polls that we are aware of indicate a strengthening of support for Syriza. And this is something that people can confirm by simply talking to uh, people in the streets of Athens and elsewhere. There is little doubt that for uh, working people in Greece, for the majority of Greeks who survive on very little at the moment, Syriza is the only hope of delivering a solution that will be in favor of working people. So clearly Syriza is getting stronger uh, in terms of electoral support. Um, the, 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 the position of Syriza, however, on what needs doing uh, is still not um, as clear as it might have been. Syriza still thinks that it can um, rid Greece, Greece of the uh, bailout agreement and it can uh, uh, impose a different um, dispensation on uh, the debt, on the national debt, which is out of control, uh, while keeping Greece uh, in the Eurozone. This is still the official position uh, of Syriza. This is how Syriza uh, is going to um, approach uh, elections, should there be elections, and this is how it organizes its political activity. My own personal view, and the view of many others, is that um, this is unlikely to work. Uh, I I I immediately, pretty soon after Syriza takes over. But we shall see, we shall see that in practice. Uh, Syriza is getting uh, ready and readier uh, for the burdens uh, of government. Now, will there be elections? Elections are not planned at the moment, but the coalition of three parties that has been running the country is very, very unstable. Very unstable. Uh, the new... Um, austerity measures will increase the pressure on each or one of these parties enormously. And we don't know if the coalition will hold. Probably will, but it's, it's far from certain. But even if the measures are passed, applying them and continuing down the path of austerity and so social disorganization uh, and destruction will create enormous uh, political pressures. And that's going to be the reality in the coming months. No matter what uh, those who make policy in Greece think, the truth is, society will be under increasing pressure, society will continue to rebel. And that will be the context in which um, Syriza will have to operate. So there might not be elections uh, in the coming uh, two or three months, but there could well be elections um, in the early part uh, of 2013 if the social and political pressures continue to accumulate uh, in the way uh, in which it looks at the moment. What's happening on the streets? Uh, I know there was a general strike not too long ago, and in some of the protests, some of the policemen of Athens actually joined the protesters. There has been a general strike. There, has been, there have been stirrings of activity, but you mustn't exaggerate that. It's easy to exaggerate it, because at the same time, there is a fair amount of despondency. People have been beaten very badly in Greece the last three years. They've tried many things, and they, they haven't seen anything work. They, there's still a lot of fight. There's still a lot of fight and a lot of readiness to oppose what's been happening uh, to them. But at the same time, there is also a sense of, you know, this is relentless. This is relentless. We, we, we're trying to stop it and it keeps coming back and it's always the same, always the same. Um, so there is an element of that. Uh, and that's an element that um, the government has been cultivating. And truth be told, Syriza hasn't been very good the last couple of months in opposing it. It could, it could have been harder, the opposition could have been more clearer, it could have been more determined in giving people um, confidence and hope that actually, no, this is the only way, other things can happen. Syriza, Syriza has actually performed terribly well the last two months uh, in my book in opposing this kind of stuff. But that's the, that's the spirit in Athens and that's, that's the spirit that I perceive. But when you look at it more closely, when you actually talk to ordinary people in the street, 
struggle aside, what you see is also a very unpleasant side, a very unpleasant aspect uh, of social interaction emerging. It's the direct result of the recession, of unemployment, of lack of prospects, of lack of future, lack of hope. What you see is a certain coarseness and uh, aggression and uh, a, a tendency to violence, uh, which which was not there in Greek society. You know, it's never been there uh, since I was born, basically, right? A long time ago. So uh, that's a new thing. Society has become less tolerant, more aggressive. Um, and that's the environment within which fascism moves. You see, fascism uh, profits from that. It attempts to direct it against uh, immigrants uh, and against anybody who is different from the standard perception of Greeks. It attempts to direct it against those, and it attempts to make violence into a, an acceptable, standard way of dealing with social problems. This is how, you know, it's a classic thing about fascism, and that's what's been happening in Greece. It's been profiting from this uh, coarsening of society, and it's been multiplying it uh, itself. It's been, it's been augmenting it. Um, by glorifying uh, violence and, and arguing that what needs Greece, what, what Greece needs doing is um, uh, to use a bit of force uh, to beat the foreigners, to beat the financiers, to beat anybody who's uh, corrupt, and then through violence we can uh, sort the country out. That's a very dangerous thing, and it's time the left and Syriza uh, began seriously to um, oppose it and to prevent it from growing. Thanks very much for joining us, Kostas. It's a pleasure. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.